So the cybersecurity training space is really heating up at the moment. So let's just have a look at what's happened in the past few weeks. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So there's been a lot happening in the cybersecurity training space from your freemium services like Hack the Box and Pentester Lab to your more fully fledged paid certificates like the Offensive Security and eLearn Security. So today we're going to have a look at all these recent changes that have happened in the past few weeks and just see where you can get value for money. So to start with, we're going to talk about the EJPT, the Junior Pentester course, formerly offered by eLearn Security. This has now been merged into the broader INE ecosystem, as you probably have seen in that video. And as a result, there's been a lot of controversy in the community about these recent changes. People aren't seem to gravitating towards the subscription model so much. However, eLearn Security have now come out and offering the EJPT course materials and labs with unlimited lab time completely free. You only pay 200 US dollars for the exam if and when you want to take this. This is such a good move in my opinion because now it is directly challenging your freemium services like TryHackMe and Hack the Box with a more professionally guided and, and instructed course. And you only have to cough up money when you want to take the exam. On top of this, rumor is circulating that INE will begin to offer a month by month subscription for the security pass. Now, this is unconfirmed. However, I've been told through other sources, if you contact the INE sales team directly and request for monthly payment, then they may grant this to you. Take this with a pinch of salt as I have not tested this though. Next up, we have Offensive Security's OSEP certificate along with the Pen 300 course. A couple of months ago, Offensive announced that they would be retiring the OSCE, which was the more advanced version of the OSCP, which is typically what students did if they had the energy to keep going after they had their OSCP. This course was criticized just due to how outdated it was and that it wasn't really relevant for today. So in response, Offensive have planned to replace this certificate with three other certificates. That is the OSWE, which is the web-based uh, certificate. Then now we have the OSEP. And coming in early 21, there will be a course focused on advanced exploit development for Windows. So the OSEP looks like it's mainly focused on defensive mitigations, as well as throwing in some things like client-side attacks, uh, Active Directory, Microsoft SQL Server, and a few other things. It will be interesting to see what this course really looks like, so feel free to download that syllabus and have a read for yourself. Next up is TryHackMe with their Network Labs. Now this very closely emulates what Hack the Box have been doing with their Pro Labs. And this it would be a really great sort of taste tester for taking on the OSCP. For those who don't know, in the OSCP Labs or the PWK, you actually aren't attacking server after server. This is a whole network that you attack and you can often move from one machine to another. And it seems like they've copied this approach and used it in this TryHackMe network lab. Now this does look very entry level and it seems like it's more of a guided exercise rather than do it on your own. However, I think it would be really great once you have a bit of experience through the learning paths on TryHackMe to take a bit more of a challenge and work in this integrated environment where you'll have to implement techniques such as client-side attacks and pivoting and other things like that. Now on the other side of the spectrum, it looks like Hack the Box have taken a bit of inspiration from TryHackMe and integrated these whole new learning paths, similar to what you see on TryHackMe. Now these are curated lists of machines and challenges to learn particular topics. Now you have your beginner track, which is great for learning all the basics that you need to know, all the way through to Active Directory, password cracking, CTFs, etc. So this is a nice way to curate all the exercises that Hack the Box already offer into a more easy digestible list for you to work through. Saving the coolest thing to last, Hack the Box have released the Battlegrounds. This is a 4v4 player vs player attack defense simulated scenario. I think this is really cool where you have four players against four players 
and you basically need to attack your opponent's servers while defending your own. Obviously there are some rules here about you know shutting off the server and some techniques that are or are not allowed, but I really think it's a cool scenario to work on both your offensive and defensive skills. If you're interested in joining me on this, be sure to leave your Hack the Box name below and we'll see if we can get a bit of a group going to do this player versus player stuff. I think this is really cool. I'm really excited to get into this. But that pretty much wraps everything up. I think right now is just such a great time to get into cybersecurity because there's so much competition in the space, which gives potential students a lot of value and a lot of resources. Just a few years ago when I was getting into this, having all the amount of resources that we have now, it just would have been made the job so much easier. But I'm happy that we've got what we've got and it should be great to encourage the next generation of pen testers and cybersecurity professionals to come into the field. Anyway, that's it from me for today. As always, thanks for watching. And don't forget, I'm now on Twitter. So if you want to see news, updates and dank memes, be sure to follow Jason underscore sec on Twitter. And as always, if you liked this video, leave it a like as it helps people like you find content like this. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.